clear, you know, that a little bit so you have more space to slide in diagonally. I think, I think, let's try that first. Hello everyone, Laura and Lewis here. Recently, we picked up a Shapeoko XL to get our feet wet with desktop CNCing. Since the real estate of our garage workshop is relatively small, our plan is to have the Shapeoko in one of our extra bedrooms turned makerspace. We picked up an industrial shelving unit from Home Depot to house all of our machines, so the footprint of the Shapeoko enclosure was basically defined for us. The inside dimension of the box measures 48 inches wide by 25 inches deep and 24 inches high. Our criteria for this enclosure is pretty simple. Number one, contain the dust. Number two, dampen the noise. Three, easy machine and vacuum hose access. Last but not least, it should be sufficiently lit for maximum viewing pleasure. So we painted the interior walls white. We chose to use an inexpensive plywood and assembled the five-sided box with liberal amounts of wood glue and pocket holes. The first draft of our design included a front door that could swing up and slide into a pocket at the top of the box. We quickly learned that our choice of lower grade plywood and our mediocre woodworking skills prevented us from realizing the potential of that design. We have a link to download the Fusion 360 file for those of you who want to tackle the design. We wanted a vacuum hose from our shop back inside the enclosure without the hose running directly through one of the walls so that the box can be relatively modular. Our solution was to use a PVC pipe cap and elbow to mate with one of the threaded adapters we got with our shop back. We're not sure if this will cause a point where material remnants builds up and causes a blockage, but worst case, we'll trigger a big <laughs> we'll drill a bigger hole and run a hose straight through the wall. After lamenting over the fact that our first design wasn't in our skill set, we opted to use piano hinges to make standard swing out doors with an acrylic window. To light the interior of the enclosure, we used LED strip lights with double-sided tape. Since the factory adhesive is the worst, we added a few dabs of superglue along the length to help adhere to the surface.
We made a simple latch for the doors with some leftover pine scraps and piano hinge from our Murphy desk, which by the way, I've been using every day. The link to the build video is in the description. This isn't the ultimate shapeoko enclosure by any stretch of the imagination. Our plan is to iteratively refine this enclosure to fit our needs as we gain more experience with using it. But for now, this suits our needs to get started with some CNC fun while containing the dust and some noise. If you learned something new or simply enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.